Thank you very much. Um, when it comes to motion of no confidence, our approach is going to be a bit um, uh, different in that we are going to speak to all political parties uh, in Parliament, including the DA and the ANC. It's not some people in the ANC. We are going to write an official communique to the ANC and ask them to agree with us that a motion of no confidence must be passed. I will tell you why. President Ramaphosa has confessed to his caucus, his own faction, that he's got no defense on the money, that the money was illegal, and that uh, he's got no answers, and therefore he must step down. It is alleged that, amongst others, it was Zaman Sol, uh, Oscar, Ma Oscar Mabuyani, Stelan Daveni, and them, who said to him, he must not resign, they will defend him. But the president has made a concession to his faction and to his core that he has got no moral uh, defense to those things. That's why you see the president can answer both to parliamentary questions or to any question. The president has got no reason not to answer because he has not been charged. So he can't say the matter is, uh, when the matter is in court, they say, subjudicate. He can't say the matter is subjudicate. So the president has got no answer, and he has made that concession. And the, he's held there by a faction that feels, the likes of Lamola and them, that feels that if he leaves, they are going to become a collateral damage, and therefore they will have to live with him. So we are confident that the ANC people will themselves accept that the motion of no confidence must be put on the president if he does not uh, step down. The DA will have to defend the president. The DA will have to vote for violation of all laws of the land. The president has violated all laws of the land and the president has got no answer even to the DA itself. So, if the DA decides to vote against the motion of no confidence, then the people of South Africa must choose what they want. But we are not going to fold our arms when we see open violation of the laws of the country because we think we won't get sufficient support. History will absolve us. That's why when Mukwe Mukwe passes judgment, on Zoom and Kandla issue and say Parliament did not play its oversight role. Some of us, we don't feel affected because we know he doesn't refer to us. We played our role. The majority voted against us. So we want just not motion of no confidence. That's why we're going through a thorough process to talk to everyone. Then we want a committee, a parliamentary committee, similar to the one we formed on Kandla. This Nosi Viwe, the fact that she's rejecting to form that committee, it's a demonstration that she's defending corruption. South Africa, we had the committee during the investigation of Nkand. Because some of you, you, you forget easily, let's remind you. And it, uh, the EFF communication, if it exists, it must also help you to go and fetch those videos. It was a a parliament committee that went to Nkandla to go and inspect Nkandla. That's when we were shown the fire pool. When the firefighters were holding something that looks like a, a, a pipe of a fire extinguisher. Them, they're saying it's a fire pool. It's referring to a pool that was designed like a lava or something. So, who was heading that committee? It was headed by Minister of Human settlement, Kubai. We're not asking for something that was not done before. It was done before. We want to go to Palapala. We cannot hold president accountable properly if we don't know how the bed looks like and if that bed really can hide money or not. We want to go to Palapala to check if those couches can hide money. How, how did the criminals get in? There must be an inquiry by parliament. From there, it must call him to come and answer. 
and he can't lie to parliament. We are not preparing an ordinary motion of no confidence. We seek impeachment. Cyril must leave with nothing. He has violated the people of South Africa. He has violated his own party. I mean, the ANC workers goes for days and days without salaries. A man is sleeping on top of dollars. And those cowards are quiet, all of them. The party is going to be uh, liquidated. It's owing hundreds of millions. A man is sleeping on top of uh, uh, dollars. And because they are cowards, they don't say anything. We are not going to be party to that. And we require no majority to speak the truth. The truth will remain the truth, even if it's spoken by the minority. This DA, when we came into parliament in 2024, I mean 2014, it was wishy-washy on Nkandla. When we stood up and took Nkandla radically and militantly, took it on, it was this DA that condemned us and called us hooligans and all of that. Or because they are slow learners, given the fact that their leader is, is challenged academically, they are, they are slow learners. They came late to the party. Like many of you South Africans, you came late to the party. You went to drink alcohol, you went to churches, you went to funerals, you condemned the EFF and said the EFF was doing the wrong thing by holding a president accountable. What, did, what happened? The EFF stood firm because it knew it's telling the truth. And history absorbed in our lifetime the EFF because the ANC for the first time in the history of that caucus went to its own caucus in parliament and took a resolution, which you are not talking about, to vote with the EFF on a motion of no confidence. That's when Zuma resigned after a night before he refused to resign. The ANC went into a caucus, something historic that nobody speaks about. As we celebrate our nine years, we are the first party that made the ANC to agree with in the opposition benches to pass a motion of no confidence on a sitting president. That's when Zuma rushed to call a press conference and resigned. This ANC came to party late at that time. Even now, it will come to the party. Who said the ANC never agreed with us in parliament about a motion of no confidence? Who, who could have imagined that at that time? So if it could happen that time, I'm answering the question, do you think the ANC will agree with you? The ANC agreed with us before. Paul Mashatile is the one who was presiding over that meeting. If he's truthful, he will tell you because he's a chameleon. He likes changing and lying in the process. He was chairing that meeting. They came to us and said, guys, withdraw the motion of no confidence. We will put the motion of no confidence. So we said, no, you are going to vote on our motion. They went back to give a report that the EFF is refusing. We have no option but to vote with the EFF. We are going to see the history repeating itself if President Ramaphosa does not resign. 